This is an ultrasound case uh, of an infant, age one month. Uh, symptoms: uh, non bilious projectile vomiting. He was referred for ultrasound uh, to see the pylorus, and uh, here we found uh, hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. This is the gallbladder, uh, has turbid content, of course because of vomiting. Uh, here we see a sign of pyloric stenosis on ultrasound called the antral nipple sign uh, this is the antral nipple sign it refers to the redundant pyloric mucosa protruding into the gastric antrum This is uh, the dilated stomach filled with uh, milk. In this view, we also see another ultrasound uh, sign in uh, hypertrophic pyloric stenosis, uh, which is called this the cervix sign. This is uh, the cervix sign, which is the indentation of the pyloric of the pylorus into the fluid-filled antrum. This is the fluid-filled antrum of the stomach. It is uh, like a cervix of the uterus on ultrasound. Uh, let us go uh, to uh, an image of a cervix, a normal cervix. This is the cervix of a uterus. And uh, we see that uh, the uterus, uh, the cervix is protruding here into the vagina. And the image is the same as uh, pyloric stenosis this is by transverse section so this is the cervix sign we return to the hypertrophic pyloric stenosis Of course, we see that uh, the pyloric canal is thickened and is uh, lengthened. It measured here uh, 21 millimeters in length and about 12 millimeters in transverse section. Here we see that uh, this is the pyloric canal which is thickened and lengthened and here is the first part of duodenum filled with fluid and this is the stomach. Let us see a normal pyloric canal and compare it with uh, the uh, hypertrophied pyloric stenosis. This is uh, the pyloric canal in a normal infant. This is uh, the sphincter of the pylorus. And we see that the contents of uh, the stomach 
are passing through it to the diadenum this is normal pylorus we see that the canal is short and uh, the muscularis is not thick let us return to HPS we also have uh, the target sign when we view the pylorus uh, in transverse section so diagnosing a hypertrophic pyloric stenosis by ultrasound is easy uh, in the uh, clinical uh, right clinical context uh, here we see the antral nipple sign this is the antral nipple which is the mucosa protruding into the antrum and we also see the cervix sign hypertrophic pyloric stenosis